What's up guys, this is Raptor Def, and um, today I'm going to show you something that I made in Bridge Designer 2015 edition. Uh, I made this for my structural engineering class, I thought maybe it could help you guys out. Um, it's a complex bridge as you can see, complex, uh, complex truss. Uh, it's kind of like a Pennsylvania truss design. Um, as you can see, um, the price is 184000 which is really good in my opinion. Um, it's 20 meters deep, so we have 11 nodes, um, and then obviously we have the arch here. So keep that in mind, this is for 20 meters deep, and, uh, that, that equals 11 nodes there. Um, for all of the members, I used, um, quenched and tempered steel right there. That's actually the strongest and the lightest material. The strongest and the cheapest material, I should say. Um, for compression, for the compression tubes, um, over here, like, uh, for example, a compression tube would be 13, right here. That, uh, all the compression tubes are made of hollow tubes because hollow tubes are good under compression and bad under tension. So for the compression members, use hollow tubes. For the tension, use solid bars. Um, I played around with the different um, thicknesses of the members, and that's what I got it to. I had a hundred, uh, 245 iterations. And here's the member list right there. So you guys can check that out. Um, yeah, so that's basically it. I went with the... Uh, like a complex truss Pennsylvania design. I think that when it gets to um, higher up um, elevations, that's the way to go, making like an arch um, instead of like, a, you know, just triangles, like a simple or, a, yeah, like a simple truss. But um, anyways, that's what I got for you guys. I hope this helps on your projects or whatever. Um, that's basically it. Thanks for watching. Peace.